In this episode, some fun things to do with your body. So if ever you want to see something and you don't have your glasses, all you've got to do is create a tiny little pinhole through the palm of your hand and look through it. I'm going to look at those umbrellas in the distance. This is with the pinhole and without the pinhole. With the pinhole and without the pinhole. It will look a little bit darker, but it is sharper. Why it works is because when you wear glasses, the lens actually focuses all the light to make the image sharp in your eye. A pinhole, being so small, kind of does the same thing. It's not the best, but in a pinch, it works. Woo! I see a couple with the windows open, walking around naked. <laughs> Ew. So this one's for all you kitties out there. If you love spinning around in circles and you get really dizzy, all you gotta do is put your finger in front of your face like that and focus on your finger. You'll still feel a little bit dizzy, but that will help you get back in balance a lot faster. You ready? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think it works well. I'm feeling still a little bit dizzy. Uh, yeah, I think it works. I feel drunk. I mean, not drunk. I feel dizzy. So say you've got a sneeze coming on and you want to stop it. What do you do? I've got me some pepper and I'm going to shove it up my nose to make myself sneeze, hopefully, so that I can prevent myself from sneezing, if that makes sense. My nose is burning. No, it's not coming. <laughs> this is so bad. This is pepper and nothing else. Okay, I feel the sneeze coming on, so all you gotta do is hold your nose and exhale through your mouth. There you go! It works! Obviously everybody needs to know how to hang a spoon off their nose, right? Let me show you how. So obviously, it's not gonna hang on. Ow! <laughs> it's just not gonna work. So first thing you gotta do is exhale on the spoon, rub down like so, putting a little bit of pressure on the spoon, and there you go. Very important, uh, very important to know this trick or huh? Why this works, when you're breathing onto the spoon, it creates a thin layer of water molecules. The rubbing motion creates friction and when paired together, it acts like glue. So that is why the spoon sticks to your nose. If you ever need to cry on command, all you need to do is hold your eyes open and don't blink. I know they're gonna sting like hell. Just keep them open as long as you can until tears come rolling down your face. You ready? Ah. <laughs> I'm trying not to blink when it hurts. <laughs> and there you go. It is a natural reaction for you to tear when your eyes are too dry. And that is why this works. Did you know you can draw a perfect circle freehand? All you gotta do is find your burn right here and use that as your pivot or your anchor point. Put a little bit of pressure on your anchor point, hold your pen up sturdy and straight, and then spin the paper around. Look, Mama, I did a circle. Here's a cool trick to write backwards really easily. Suppose you're right-handed, all you've got to do is write with your right and mirror the movement with your left, but don't think too much whilst doing it. The left hand is a bit wobbly, but I mean, nothing is perfect, right? Just remember not to think too much of the movements of your left hand. Let it flow naturally and eventually it will work. So here's a really cool trick to make your arms levitate magically. All you gotta do is find a door, stand in the middle of it, and then push your arms against the door frame with the palms facing you for about 30 seconds. You gotta push pretty hard for this one to make it work. Oh, oh hurry up. 30 seconds yet. Two, one. I'm gonna show you my arms. I'm not doing anything, okay? It's doing it by itself. <laughs> it's so weird. I wasn't lifting my arms at all, but what happened was my brain was tricked into thinking that it was still pushing up against the door frame. And that's what made it magically go up by itself. You just have to try this one for yourself to understand what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I look a bit silly. So that is it for this episode. An episode of completely useless hacks, but you've got to admit, they're pretty fun. And if you didn't find them fun, sorry, lol. If you have any other hacks that you would like to share, please leave a comment below. And I've said this a million times, so please, it's getting a bit ridiculous now. Please download the free Click Network app and you can watch all of our shows straight away on your mobile devices before it comes out on YouTube. Go and do it. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Ding.